If you are a man, a man who's a producer, an entrepreneur, a business owner, and yet there's a part of you that says what? I don't feel powerful. If you don't have the results you want, whether it be in your physical body, you know, whether it be in your personal certainty and the meaning of your life and your spirituality, if you don't have results with your goddess and your children, there's a piece in you that's eroding. It's empty because you know their children, your family, your wife, they want to be with you. If you want to have results in that arena of life as well as business, it's time to go on a journey of real power. Brother, I'm Satema Ngala, the Reverend of the Revolution, and I've got a powerful message for you today. It's about learning how to win again in your life. It's about getting back up when life has knocked you down. It's about reclaiming the power and the certainty that life has slowly dragged out of you over the weeks, the months, and even the years. It's dragged it out of your heart and soul. It's taken it from your business, your confidence, your bank account, your relationships. You know exactly what I'm talking about, brother. You've been a winner before. You've crushed goals that seemed impossible. You hit peaks that you never thought you could hit in this lifetime, and yet you did it. But you and I both know that life goes in cycles. And you climb and you work and you hustle and you grind and you set goals and there comes a point in that upward movement where you cruise and you begin to crash and you go to a downward spiral. Maybe you've already crashed in your business. Maybe business is rocky but you've crashed with your family. Perhaps you feel disconnected from your God and you're wondering, how did I get here? Listen, there is a way out and that's what this message is all about. Because even if you've been sliding in that downward spiral for several months or several years, it doesn't change who you truly are. Deep down inside of you, your inner champion is still there waiting for you. Your inner champion, that winner inside of you, it's hungry. It wants to be fed. It wants to be let out. It wants to be unleashed and it wants to compete. Yes, it wants to win again. Most people know that I played football with the New England Patriots in the NFL and from kindergarten to high school to college and ultimately to the NFL, there were a lot of dark, dark days along that path. Yet through the every adversity that I faced, I knew what I wanted and that fire, that flame in my heart and soul never went out. I knew it was part of my destiny to get to the NFL and to play the game at the highest level. Yes, brother, one of the greatest blessings and privileges of my life has been to see the sun rise again after a night of fear and doubt and despair and darkness. And now after retiring from the league, I've been on a mission for the past 15 years to help other men to play at the highest levels possible in their careers, in their industries, in their families, in their relationships. Brother, I'm clear that I can do that for you, my friend. So I've got a question for you. Is there something inside of you that you've lost something inside of you that you're wanting to get back? Is it time to rebuild? And if the answer is yes, brother, I want you to join me on an incredible journey of expansion, power, and awakening. Manwealth is a platform to help you play life like a champion again, to give you the mindsets, tool sets, and skill sets of true power and wealth so that you can go out and create the life you truly want to create. If this message resonates with you, brother, it's time to build that inner champion. It's time to win again. To win again in your relationships, to win again in your business, to win again with your body, with your physicality and your health. Win again with the very purpose and meaning of your life. Brother, join me and come see how this system would radically affect your life.
gotta go and get some hugs and some love. What's up, baby? How you doing, man? Doing great. How are you? Great to see you. What's up, baby? Great to see you, see you too, man. See what? Big dog, you look like you're ready for training camp. JJ, what's up, baby? See you, bro. Great to see you too. Happy birthday, big dog. Thanks, man. Great to see you, homie. Who's this? Scott. Scott. What's up, man? Good, 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 good to put names and faces. Yeah, yeah. Be Mortimer, what's up, baby? How are you, man? Good. Good, man. Good to see you. Jacob. Jacob. Big Zim dog. What's up, baby? Right. Andrew, what's up, man? Hello. Right on. Good to have you here, man. Look, have a seat, gentlemen. Take out your journals, gentlemen. And I want you to write, what is the perfect outcome? What is the outcome that you are committed to as a result of being here in the man wealth? What is that outcome? Like, what do you want? Be specific. Come on, gentlemen, you gotta go all in. You gotta go all in. This is not good enough to show up and take notes. You gotta push yourself to go to a place you have not been before that you rarely visit. And as you're writing that perfect outcome, everyone look up here, this word right here, why? Why does that matter? Zim? <coughs> Eric? Boy. Scotty? Boy. Big Nate? Boy. JJ? Boy. Siwa? Boy. Andrew? G-Mac? Everyone stand up. You look at your brother, make a promise to your brother, however that looks like, I'm all in. I promise you guys I'm all in. Commit to your brother in front of you that you're gonna go all in and play all out. Give each other a hug if you're done. Hug, hug your brothers in front of you. Find a new brother, find a new brother and go commit to that brother, let's go. You gotta commit to every brother that you're all in. We got a lot of work to do physically today, a lot of work to do. We're getting going, right? The, man, the mind's gonna wanna start to go into, everyone's mind's gonna be different. Some of you have stories right now that's saying what? Just be present. Present means be here, right here, right now. Like get your mind right. Get your mind right. What would your mind have to be in a state of to get something from this? What do you need to be thinking about? What do you need to believe right now to get something from this? There's power in the body. The body either gives you power or takes it away. Oh, the body's a weapon, gives you power. And if it's not in shape and if it's not moving, it takes away power. Right? Champions take care of their body, their health. It fuels them and gives them power. That makes them happy. Come on, we a team now. Go, we a team now, y'all can talk, y'all can talk. This ain't like church now. Say go. go. This ain't church in Utah, you did church in like Georgia. You could be talking and high five. Let's go. go. Get something from it. Let's go. Be smart. Come on, you got to... What are you fighting for? Zim, what are you fighting for, brother? Become the man. Great man, I'm destined to become. Love it. Come on, see what stretch out. See what what are you fighting for, brother? Nice work, nice work. Round one goes to team one, come on. Most guys do not push themselves hard enough. They don't push themselves hard enough. And they wonder why their business struggles, they wonder why they can't get the capital, they wonder why their, their teams don't follow them. <laughs> oh, we did, this is the warm up. Yeah, Don't get it twisted. This, we just warming up. Clean, squat, back up, and down on the ground. Your team has how many? 100. Your team has 100. 100. We just got a call. We just got a call from the GM. The GM says, hey, we're not doing 100. We're doing 200. Doing 200. How many? 200. How many? Right on, I love it. Okay, so we got 200. Oh, just got another call. Guess what? We're not doing 200. How many are we doing? 300. How many are we doing? How many are we doing? How many are we doing? 300. Great. 
Starting in five, four, three, two, one, go. Come on. You can do so much more than you think you can. That's it. Why are you here? Why are you here? What are you fighting for? What are you fighting for? What do you want? What do you want, Big Sewell? Come on, baby. Come on, baby. That's it. Why are you here? Why are you here? What are you fighting for? What are you fighting for? What do you want? What do you want, Big Sewell? Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Find the rhythm, find the rhythm, let's go. Find the rhythm, come on, come on, come on. Some of you are gonna do a lot more than others, and if you've got the capacity to do so, I would do it, but only if you wanna win. Take your focus off of yourself and focus on your brother. Take your focus off yourself and focus on your brother, come on. Good job, Eric, come on. Eric, let's go, come on. Just one at a time, one at a time, there you go. Out of boy, all day, baby. Lead the men. You got a group of men back home that look, look to you, my man. Let's go. Yep, all day. <sighs> to be committed, or a commitment means that I'm gonna do what is required. I want something, what's required to get it, I will do what's required. Not everything that I know, I'm doing all I know, Satema. That's cool, are you doing what's required? I'm doing my best. Doing your best is for your kids. That's for children. You go do what's required. Second thing, commitment is doing what you said you would do. And every time you do what you say you're going to do, your life gets more powerful. Your way of being expands. As a way of being who you are. And the third thing of our specialized definition of a specialized term is acting decisively in spite of thoughts, feelings, emotions, and moods. I don't feel like getting up at the gym. You said you were gonna get up at five o'clock. Get your ass up at five o'clock. Did you just act in spite of, I don't feel like it. I'm not in the mood. The circumstances don't align. See, to be committed is a way of being. It means something in here. Listen, if you got nothing else from Manwealth, like if it was like, hey, we're done, I'll give you a refund on tomorrow, see you guys later, we're out. If there's only one thing you got, that word is power. Power. And clarity is power. Power to create, power to know where I'm going, power to know who I am, power to know what my purpose is. So the five step process, where I call this a prosperity blueprint, which falls all under principle four, which is clarity is power. And you've seen this, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna just run through this so you can really get this. First step is to do what? Again, say it again. Declare. Declare what you want and why it matters. You gotta have the courage to say, I want that thing over there, it matters to me, and I want it. Step number two is what? Define, define what's necessary and required to go get it. Once you declare what you want, why you want it, you define the necessary required actions, then step three is two. What are we deciding? Yeah, do I really want that and am I willing to do what? NRAs, am I willing to go knock doors? Am I willing to go have conversations with people? Am I willing to go hunt down billion dollar equity partners? Am I willing to go and hire someone or hire 10 to get the two? Am I willing to go hustle, hustle, hustle? Am I willing to do what's necessary and required to get what I want? The moment you get steps one, two, and three down your life and the answer is yes, 
We move on to step four. If the answer is no, come back to step one and say, ah, yeah, I better choose something that I really want. Now, the fun part about this is, if this is really what you want, NRAs become the adventure and the journey, not the burden. Some of you guys are like, ah, how do I stay committed to this thing? How do I really stay committed? Get the thing that you want. Once you decide that you want to do it, step four is what? And commitment means that, here we go, right? Commitment is, do what's required. Number two, do what you say you will do. Number three, act decisively in spite of thoughts, feelings, emotions, and moods. And if you commit every single day, step five is what? Stop stopping. Just stop stopping. Whatever has you stop, stop it. Just keep moving. This will help you to get anything you want in your life. It is so simple. That simple. After I went through a divorce, and people questioned, you know, are, can I be a good father? How do I do that? And the kids were confused and stuff. And I just realized that after everything's fallen apart, you can still be father of the year. You can still be wealthy in your relationship with your children, with your family, and in all areas of your life. And then going forward, now that I have a partner in my life and working with her, I want to have that same powerful relationship with her that, that she knows she's the most important thing in my world. There was a time in my 20s where I was making a couple hundred thousand a month and I was certain everything I touched turned to gold. Every real estate deal I did worked. Every one of them made money. And one day I got punched in the mouth and I lost everything. It all went away and, and all of a sudden I had nothing. And what I learned is I wasn't as certain as I thought I was. I was just confident. Certainty would have had me come back much faster and much quicker. You need to decide who you are. You need to decide that you're going to create who you want to be. And you need to write down what it is you want to be as a father. And then what do you have to do to become that person? What do you have to change? Do you have to get home from work earlier? Do you have to reach out and call your children more? Do you have to make an effort? Maybe you haven't talked to your kids in five years and you're like, man, I messed up. How do I do that? Call them. Make the first step. Make a phone call. Call them every day, every week, every month until they talk to you. I mean, to me, if that's what you want and that is who you are, then you need to start doing the necessary required actions to create the relationship you want. If you're at work all the time, you just got to decide you're going to come home and you're going to leave work at the work office and you're going to cut it off sooner. Um, those are the decisions you have to make. So I saw Satima involved with another uh, another program that I uh, had some history with, and uh, saw that he was more hands-on with the with the coaching, and I wanted to make sure I was dealing with a with a source that I wasn't pawned off to uh, to some lackey th um, down the totem pole that was getting paid minimum wage to to do the coaching. And he had me, me get real with, with what was going on and, and honest with what I was really doing. And uh, when it came down to it, I wasn't doing what it took to uh, get the results that I wanted. And uh, when he uh, drilled down with me and I got honest, um, I was able to do what it took to get the result that I wanted. And I got the outcome that I wanted. And uh, it was really, really rewarding. And I wouldn't have had the breakthrough if I didn't have him kicking my ass. I've always kind of struggled with the idea of, of getting my business and my personal life, my spirituality, you know, together. Um, it always felt like I had to sacrifice one for the other, and there was a tug of war. And the amazing thing that I learned here is, is how to nurture all those areas of my life together, and how doing so could help me be more successful in each one. So I have an amazing system now where like, I can trust it. I can go home and I have the steps that I need to achieve, uh, that I need to follow to really achieve what I want to do. And I just have to go execute now. All the ambiguity and the confusion and the complexity is gone. This is exactly the system 
This is exactly the group of guys that I've been looking for for about three years now. So I am super excited to be a part of a brotherhood that um, is like-minded like individuals. And it's very apparent that um, if you're not ready for this level of commitment and you're not ready to take yourself up to the next level and fulfill your potential, that you weed yourself out naturally in this process. And when you're with a group of guys that are of that mind frame, it's easy to do. And it's very clear that nobody in this room was posturing. Nobody saying, well, I'm up here in business and I'm doing these great things. Um, it was, everybody was here. Everybody cared about everybody else in the room. And um, it's just easy when you get the right people around you. And that's true with everything in life. You know, I've kind of had this story in my head of my life pre, before, pre-experience going to prison and, and an experience after. It's kind of ironic because the biggest thing I learned in my experience when I was in prison is I was really out of balance uh, prior to, to showing up there and being able to look at yourself in the mirror for 14 months like I did and realizing that, yeah, I had a lot of things and, you know, I was financially in great shape. I was, you know, at my kids' events you know, football games, baseball games, and even coached them for several years, but I wasn't present. And so I realized that out of balance and, and being a wealthy man is, it's not about money. It's about being wealthy in my relationship with my wife, uh, with my kids, um, physically with my, you know, body, as well as um, my God, spiritually, having balance there, and being wealthy in that relationship, as well as my business. I don't know, everybody loves Satema. I mean, he's just such a big, powerful, certain guy that you can tell that is truly called and driven to help other people, to help other men, to help other women, to really access that power for themselves and to truly have the success in, in all the areas of their lives as well. And, and uh, it's just uh, you want it when you when you run into somebody special like that. You want to you want to be around them. You want to be a part of it. I guess I've always been driven to perform at a high level, or always been driven to see what I can do. And that's probably a big reason why I've gone through Kokoro and why I'm attempting selection is to see what I'm made of, to see what I have, um, to see the limits that I can push. And then the big thing is, uh, is my family. It's really kind of my holy cause, is to lead my family to to show my kids what it is like to to go after things that are big and scary in life, and and to do the work that's necessary and required to actually be prepared to not only attempt those things but to actually accomplish them. And, I consider myself an influencer in the in society and the culture and in business, especially amongst Polynesians, especially amongst those who I can relate with, you know, who are from the hood, whether you're in New York or California. So a few things that I, you know, that I learned today was, uh, you know, powerful people don't live in explanations. And that's really me being Polynesian and uh, being a people pleaser and sometimes over committing myself just because I want to help people out. Hopefully people will um, pick up on the fact that, uh, that I'm, a, I'm 10 times further ahead than how I was pre manworld You know, I, I thought I was originally gonna come here because I had some business stuff that I wanted to work on. Um, what I ended up actually getting clear about is I needed to really figure out what I wanted in my personal life and what I really want out of my marriage. And I was really trying to put the gap in that relationship really on my partner and not on me. And being in the huddle and building the trust that we built over the last few days um, the guys shared their personal experiences when they were on the brink of, of ending their relationships and what changed things for them and how that impacted them. And 
I just realized that I needed, if I'm going to make this decision, I need to do it with a clear mind and that I need to go all in and make that commitment and then whatever happens, happens. And I think I'm, I'm prepared to do that. And before I came here, I wasn't. Throughout my life, I've been in sports and uh, like a lot of guys have. And then once you get out of sports, unless you're a professional athlete, um, you miss it. You, you miss, you know, looking down the field together. or You miss, you know, being a part of a, a tribe. And, and I think that one of the most powerful aspects of what this event represents for me and what I think it can represent for a lot of other folks who, who grew up the way I did is it lets you get back to that and lets you get back to the concept of being a part of a brotherhood. So if, if you have a, a big um, pressing uh, question in your life, be it you know what you want to do to grow your business or find your purpose or work on your relationship uh, with, your, with your family or with yourself, uh, with a with, uh, business partner, this is the place to be. Who am I? I am a champion. The words I am are so powerful, utilizing language so powerful. Who you say you are is who you become. I promise any result that you create is going to come far before it ever comes. It's going to come right in here by you see yourself. Who am I? I'm a champion. champion. I'm a champion. There's something so sacred about being a champion, about winning, about doing all this work to win. Who am I? I am a champion. I am a champion. Who am I? I am a champion. Who am I? I am a champion. I'm a champion. Who am I? I am a champion. Who am I? I am a champion. And that's going to mean something to you today. There's one more evolution here, what I call low gear. To get to where we want to go, gentlemen, to go get selection, to go drop the 100, to go lead your community and your people, you've got to be able to find what I call low gear. And low gear is not about going fast. Low gear is about finding a why, digging into that, and just moving. If you can find a low gear, you'll get so much done faster than most guys will get done. Because most guys, they sprint, then they stop, then they take three weeks off. There's two ways to find a low gear. Number one, focus on your brothers. The second way to find a low gear is to remember your why. So the ways to find low gear, number one, focus on your brothers. Number two, remember your low gear is long. Empires are built over five to 10 years. Family, deep relationships are built over time using what I call low gear. We're gonna find it today. Listen, shit's gonna get hard and it's gonna get ugly and you're gonna to wanna to quit. And we're gonna push you. You have a chance to step through. Meaning, I'm gonna say, if you're all in, you're gonna take a step forward over the backs. That means there is no going back. So you think, take a good moment right now about what you really want, why it matters. And we're gonna go low gear, and I'm not gonna tell you how long we're gonna go, but if you decide to step forward, it's all in. So if you're all in on the next evolution for the rest of your time here, take a big ass step forward. Okay, low gear, low and slow, focus on your Brother. brothers, remember your
So many guys talk about wanting to be wealthy, wanting to be powerful, wanting to have a marriage. But so many guys are unwilling to do what's necessary and required. Find your why, gentlemen. Who am I? Who am I? Who am I? People talk about being an amazing father and husband, but they're not willing to pay the price. The price is steep. The price is hard. But if you're willing to do it, you'll get it. You got way more. You can do more than you think you can, gentlemen. You can do more than you think you can. Find it. Find it. No finish line. Who am I? Act like it. Change your face. This ain't hard. I'll tell you what's hard is getting to 70 years old and saying, what the hell happened to my life? I'll tell you what's hard is being alone without a spouse and kids who love you because you failed but to put the time in. I'll tell you what's hard is being broke and having to tell your kids, we can't do that. This is easy. Keep moving, keep moving. Success is just like this, willing to do hard shit. Willing to find another gear. When there is no gear, you find the low gear. And when that low gear runs out, you find another gear. You can do more. You ain't dying. You ain't dying. Come on, Scotty, come on, baby. That frame of yours can do so much more. We got a, we got a sweet lady over here who's watching us do work. I love it. What are you fighting for? You got wife and kids at home that are hoping that you're going all out. You got team and employees. You got families that are waiting for you. Come on, who am I? Together, who am I? Who am I? Tell a different story. You think you're not, but you are. You're a champion. Who am I? Who am I? Who am I? What are you fighting for, baby? What are you fighting for? I can tell you right now, your wife and your kids want you to step up, but you refuse because it gets hard. See, everyone gets to this point. Every man gets to this point where it's hard, where it hurts. And this is where champions rise. They have a, a wife and kid at home. They have kids, they got employees, they got families they're fighting for. This is where champions rise. Who am I? Champion. Who am I? Champion. Act like it. Because there's no finish line here. There's no finish line in the game of life. And depending on how hard you want to work now, the sooner we get done. You want to dog it? We'll just stay out here for the ladies all day long. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Here's a low gear. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Lead, brother. Lead, brother. Come on. It's all day. Go, boys. Come on, Andrew. Come on, Nate, baby. I love it. You can do so much more than you think you can. You can do so much more than you think you can. Atta boy, atta boy, Andrew. Utah County ain't never seen this. Camille been waiting to see this guy, just smiling and pushing and like, oh, this ain't hard. Come on now, come on. Here's where you gotta find low gear, baby. You can do more than you think. You can do more than you think. You can do more than you think. You can start talking it up, because this is where the team's got to come together. You can start talking it up. Here we go, come on. Start high-fiving, let's go. Let's start having some fun. This is what teams do, find a way. No one feeling sorry, let's go. Come on, come on, Nate Bailey. Atta boy, Zim Dog. Atta boy, Zim Dog. All day selection. Poster boy right there, Nate Bailey. Let's go, baby, come on. Come on, baby. Change your face, because this is a, this beautiful, Andrew, huh? That beautiful, who am I? Let's go. Who am I? No walking, let's go!
What do you want, gentlemen? The challenges of life that keep most men down. Average men can't get back up. Champions find a way where there is no way. Champions find another gear. Everything you got, you're giving me everything you got. Clear? Let's get out the field. Ready? Here we go. Did you give your all? Yes or no? Brother, you're here, and you're here for a reason. And you're here because the message touched your heart and soul, and it resonated deep within. I was once in your shoes, in a place of wondering what's next. How do I take my life, my family, my business, my spirituality to a whole another level? You've been hitting the ceiling for a long time. You're at a point in your life where it's, you're done. Enough is enough. You know there's something greater, but you can't quite put your hand or your finger on it. On the other hand, they're staying in the same place. And they're just doing what's comfortable. And they're doing what you've been doing over and over and over again, whether it be in your business, with your relationships, with your physicality, or your spirituality. But just understand this, brother, there is a consequence for staying where you are. And there's also a benefit and a blessing and a promise for taking the step to go all in on the application. And I know, like, if you're watching this, I already know you're very wealthy in one part of your life. You've already tasted great success with your business, but other parts of your life are struggling. Or the, the success in your business goes up, and then it falls. And then it rises, and it falls. And you're here because you know it's time to become a wealthy man. Wealthy in your business and money. Real stability. Wealthy with your relationships, your wife, your children, your sons and daughters. Wealthy with your spirituality and the purpose of your life. And of course, wealthy with the tool, the, the temple, the weapon, the body. Brothers, go all in. Be real with me. Be real with yourself. And do it now. And I'll see you on the other side for a conversation and an opportunity and a possibility that you might not even comprehend or fathom at this time. But your heart is saying, yes, this is real. This is what I want. This is what I need. But more than need, this is what I truly want.